what are they uh, you know uh, get there at that time so it's the same kind of thing slightly messy but definitely a very good uh, tasted recipe mm mm-hmm. mm mm-hmm. Very good. I I forgot to start record so I am recording now okay. and uh Sureka today is making vada curry. Yes. Which tastes a little non-veg so it can <laughs> fool the taste buds. That's part. good to mention, you know. Mhm. Ndai baba. So uh today's dish is uh, vada curry and uh, vada curry is uh, specially and famously made in southern India. and uh, it's very rare that people uh, learn to cook vada curry because um, this dish uh, has a uh, lot more steps than usually what other recipes have so we'll just start up with that so in the beginning i'll just let you know that uh, i soak split chickpeas in water from uh, afternoon from this afternoon and this is almost uh, you know two to two cups of uh, chickpeas that i have uh, soaked in water lukewarm water and uh, i have you know grinded it in like 70% not fully it you can you can see uh, there are there are lumps of uh, full chickpeas and uh, this we we'll use so you grind it after soaking Yes, after soaking, and just before the session, I have grinded it slightly. I could say ten minutes before the session, and uh, this I have kept ready because of the noise that the mixer makes. So yeah, I'll start up the pan. We have to, you know, uh, roast the uh, chickpeas in the shape of vada using hands. It's slightly. you have to involve your hands you can apply oil to your palm one of your palm and before that we'll add half a teaspoon half a teaspoon of salt to the mixture of vada curry you know i think in the english a vada would be called a patty because when you put things together mhm mm um okay is is that is that so do you it, think it 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 shapes like a donut actually so yeah. we have the dough prepared and then we you know in shape we just uh, fry it oh, so i'm not frying it in now oil I, now exactly. i know what you're going to make yeah have you had yeah. so yeah, i'm I've just making it. a bowl yeah. and then i'll tap it like this uh -huh. and once my pan is ready i'll drop oil that you know just for roasting it you can judge the uh, quantity of oil it's almost around 5 tablespoon i could say so okay. that half of the i'm sorry that's okay what what it's kind okay. of oil what kind of oil do you use so i make... use clear sunflower oil mm -hmm. So I'm just dropping the vada. You can uh, hear the sizzling sound. You know, I'm taking this bowl of the paste of the uh, you know dough or the batter that I can say. Just tapping it, taking it into my right hand, like this. Just flipping over because it doesn't have any binding. You know uh, what to say um, ingredient in this, so it might just. break so i'm just softly dropping it into the pan so basically you got in there chickpeas and salt that's it yes that's it that's it and again making it this way round not that flat or not that thin just slightly thin so that it's quite cooked before giving it a tadka I've dropped in four of the same. Now, but, but if you apply oil, the vada is it leaves your hand very smoothly. Otherwise, it would stick to your hand. 
Uh huh. That's why we put the oil on the palm. Yes. Yes. Very smart. <laughs> <laughs> Many people also use uh, polythene, like they hold polythene, they apply oil, and then they directly drop it because it slides very smoothly. If we use uh, any polythene cover or something. What kind of cover? A polythene cover, like um, plastic cover. Uh huh. Uh huh. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. I'm just flipping it over so that I don't want it to get burned. We just want that to be slightly brown because it sticks to the pan. I'm using a nonstick pan so that we could avoid the burning thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I could show you this way we have flipped it over. We want it to be cooked in this way, mm -hmm. lightly brown and crispy. Because after this process, we are going to break it into like small crumbles. Oh. Yes. So for that, we want it to be slightly crispy. You know, you all could have it as it is. When you're not ready to have anything else, you can just make this and you can, in your snack time, you can have it as it is. Mm. Just you, if you add, uh, you know, uh, ginger, onions, and green chili, and just fry it like this, you can have it. As but for now, we, yes, as it is. For now, we only have salt in this because we are going to give it a, a tadka that will have all the ingredients, the masalas, the, um, what to say, raw spices. I'm flipping it over again. This will be, you know, time consuming. We have had recipes of 20 minutes, but today we'll have a time consuming one because, you know, this is way too delicious to leave it. Sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah. So once this is done, I will take it out in a tray or a plate. You'll have to cool it down. So I'll keep it in the fan. Or you can also, uh, you know, keep it uh, for five minutes to seven minutes in your freezer, in your refrigerator. So that it's easy for you to break it through your hands. But I'll be keeping it in under uh, fan. You can take out uh, on a uh, napkin so that the oil is soaked out. So I'm applying oil again to my palms. And in one hand, I'm applying it to the palms. And in the other hand, I'm applying it to my fingers. Once the ball is made, you just have to press it. My mom used to make this dish um, called shami kebab. Of course, it was ah, not. Yeah, it was not. Right. But it had also a lot of chickpeas and a lot of um, meat mixed in. And right, right. Actually, meatballs and, <laughs> yeah, meatballs and uh, what to say, mm, aloo tiki, aloo tiki. You, ha you must have had it in India. Alu tiki. Alu tiki is the, uh, you know, uh, just smashed potato, but uh, it's normally uh, a filling in burgers, you know, potato fillers in burgers. And McDonald's is very famous. It's called Mac Alu. Mac Alu. Mac -alu. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if it's the same name in uh, outside uh, Indian, uh, you know, outlet 
but it is so in uh, Indian outlets. Make alu, tikki. You know, I was reading uh, somewhere Meher Baba um, taught the girls how to make potato pancakes. Oh. Potato patties, yeah. And the mm. rest of the food they are given too. And I'm like, oh my God, can you imagine eating something Baba made? Right. That would be the prasad yes. of prasads. <laughs> yes. So I have the second round ready and I'm flipping it over. If you have some burnt lumps in the oil, you can just leave it as it is. You can strain it out and use it for the tarka. Mm. Your uh, image froze for what reason? Yeah, one second. Okay. My back again. Yeah, kind of. You're freezing. Mm -hmm. One second. Hopefully I'm back again. Yeah. Yes. What did you adjust to make your freeze go away? Uh, uh, actually, there was some notification that came up suddenly. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's, you know, because a lot of times f folks from India freeze often, so we can tell them what to do. It's just, it, it's just that something, some other notifications, you know, or to restart the application, the other application. Oh, yeah. And it happens. So maybe you can ask them to... Uh, you know, uh, what to say, silent their notification or just emergency notifications being kept on. Yeah. I guess I just have to, you know, uh, there's something that's uh, cloudy effect. I think it's clear now. Yeah. Because of the vapors that are coming, you know, it's <laughs> really hot here right now. Mm -hmm. So yes, I have the second round ready as well. The oil is reduced nicely. I might add some oil. We are frying it. And after this, I'm going to show what all other raw ingredients I have kept ready mm -hmm. so that it's easier for uh, everyone to remember because this was the first uh, step that was I was making. I'm just adding some oil again and I leave it to heat up in full flame. Yeah, and I'm doing it on full flame. You can do it on medium flame as well because we have to hurry up I'm doing it in a full flame. Actually, what my mother does is she keeps a uh, pan and she fills up thoroughly like an omelette. Oh. Yeah. And then she flips it and she breaks it on the tawa itself. But uh, this is the way I like it because... Uh, it's easier to flip small uh, bunches than to flip a whole pan. <laughs> I'm not that pro in that. <laughs> I might break it and, and give it a very ugly look. <laughs> <laughs> um, we learn from mothers, but uh, it's very difficult to imitate their own dish. I know. <laughs> Yes. You know, even uh, after doing this, because I'll be serving it uh, before Baba first, so I'm not tasting it here. But uh, when you are cooking, you can keep on taste uh, what it is, like so that your, uh, you know, quantity of whatever uh, masalas you are, ingredients you are uh, dropping into the dish is uh, not excess.
it is a good sign actually i have heard it from uh, the earlier mentioned uh, chef uh, jordan uh, gordon ramsay he continuously tastes it but he definitely keeps it uh, in notice that he is not dropping the same spoon again because he runs his own restaurant so uh, definitely we doubt that whether the uh, restaurant chef they taste their uh, recipes or not they definitely do but definitely they keep in mind that they are not dropping in their used spoon oh my again mm. <laughs> so this is the crispy one that we yeah. will be breaking it down after it cools down it looks delicious true so i just keep this pan away because the fume our vapors are too much right now so till the time it's cooling i'm just keeping it uh, under my under the fan yes so uh, i have kept it there now i'll show you the ingredients that i have kept ready yeah So these are the ingredients. I hope I'm visible. Mm -hmm. These are finely chopped onions. These are a uh, pick, uh, you know, small julienne cuts. I, if it's visible, onions. And uh, this is yes, onions. And uh, this is actually, you know, uh, two big onions. The more onions we use in this dish, the more delicious it is. This is uh, one big, nice, juicy tomato. Hold on, let me uh, mute some people because the image keeps flipping. Uh, give me one. Mm -hmm. All right, mute. Go ahead, start. Yeah. So uh, that was one juicy big tomato, red tomato. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we have uh, curry leaves, all-time favorite. We have. Four to five green chilies that are just sliced in half. Almost three stems of mint leaves, Ooh. whole mint leaves, and few chopped coriander. And yes, uh, the amount of coriander and curry leaves it says it just depends on your choice, whatever and how much you like, you can add it. then i have ginger garlic paste and i'll just be using one and a half uh, tablespoon of ginger garlic paste so i'll keep my cooking pan ready for the tadka because before i drop in the crumbles i have to cook other uh, ingredients very well very nicely these raw uh, ingredients i'll tell you as and when i add step by step mm -hmm. that might you know yes so i've heated it nicely i'm adding oil oil i could say is 3 uh, tablespoon oil Oh, first day I have given you such a work, you know. That's okay. Last time I didn't take good notes. This time I'm more with it. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Taking so, notes. Uh, yeah. So we have cloves, bay leaves, and all the uh, you know uh, spices that you can use. As in more, like you can also use uh, black pepper. That's peppercorn. But the I'm not using or ground. Yes, yes, anything mm -hmm. is fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not using it because I'll be using the red chili powder. So I have dropped in. Uh, this is uh, fennel seeds. I have dropped in one teaspoon fennel seeds. so i let it slightly red not brown not black 
I'll uh, fry it till it's slightly red, slightly roasted. Mustard seeds are optional. You could add mustard seeds to this, but I'm not adding it because mustard seeds has a different taste, which my mother doesn't add. So same, I'm copying her. I'm not <laughs> adding it. So right now, Sureka, in the oil, you only have the, because you mentioned so many other ingredients, but you're only putting the fennel seeds right now? Yes, fennel seeds, yeah. bay leaf, uh -huh. cloves, four to five cloves, mm -hmm. and um, star anise. What was that? Star anise. Star? Flower-shaped star anise. It's actually oh. called star anise. In English, I think we call it star anise. It has sort of an anise flavor. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Maybe? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's slightly red now. So I'm dropping it, both the sliced uh, onions, the small ones and the uh, big ones, julienne cut. The more onions, the more tasty the dish is. Diana, you have to come to my house and we'll cook this together. I am scared to do this <laughs> alone. <laughs> oh, yeah. when, we do, when we do the idlis. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but definitely uh, take my tip. You'll have to smash the idli in the dish, in the curry, and then you'll have to eat. Yum. Mm -hmm. Oh, you add Italy's with this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes. We, it's, uh, it, it is had with Italy. It is had with uh, chapati, rice, uh, toasted bread, garlic bread. Then, uh, you know, you can also use it as a uh, pizza spread on pizza base. What kind of spread? As a uh, pizza spread. You can Preserve. spread it over the pizza. Yeah. Oh. Pizza. pizza. Pizza, pizza. Yes. Okay. And now I'm adding uh, chopped, you know, sliced uh, chili. It, it's four chili, sliced four chili. And these are not very hot. That's why I have used four. Otherwise, I would have used just one or one and a half. Last time I got some green looking things. They were so hot, I couldn't even, oh. <laughs> and we have to definitely keep it in mind that after chopping chilies, we have to wash our hands. Yes. Clearly, and not only with water, but we definitely have to wash it with some hand wash. Because yeah. these are so hot, even the seeds in this are, uh, you know, highly <laughs> risky. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, I, so I have. Eyes. <laughs> yeah, so I have added just one teaspoon of salt for the uh, onions to cook well. Now I'll be adding ginger garlic paste. I'm adding one and a half tablespoons. And in this ginger garlic paste, I must say, Huh. It, it, it has uh, two, uh, you know, uh, big Eleven. garlic and uh, just uh, one, uh, I must say, one and a half inch of ginger. The quantity of ginger should be more than the quantity of uh, garlic. I have this ginger garlic paste into this and it's nicely roasted. I'm adding curry leaves now because we wanted the fresh curry leaves taste. So I haven't added it to the oil. I'm breaking it down and I'm adding it. That gives a fresh curry leaf taste. Also, I'm adding mint leaves. Three stems of mint leaves. In the same manner, I'm just breaking it through my hands. No, it's very indulging when we do it, do something in kitchen with using our hands. <laughs> that looks amazing. So, 
It smells amazing. <laughs> I'm hungry already. <laughs> yes, I'm adding this nice juicy tomato. This one medium sized red tomato. Yeah, so nice. Now we'll add our raw or powdered uh, you know, spices. This is garam masala. All the uh, raw spices, it's just powdered in this. I'm using one teaspoon of garam masala. Three fourth teaspoon of uh, red chili powder. This is, I must say, Kashmiri red chili powder. Why it's called Kashmiri is Kashmiri red chilies are less spice and it gives nice red color, gives nice red layer on the top of the ingredient. I'm adding three teaspoons of coriander powder. I just mix it nicely. I also have this chicken masala powder, which I said that I, I, I've added in my last dish, in the lemon chicken dish. It's the Everest chicken masala. You know, it feels like I'm promoting some product, but uh, <laughs> definitely uh, it tastes good. Next time you visit India, make sure you buy one for yourself. Yes, definitely. So I'm adding three, four spoons of every chicken masala. So now I'll add one tablespoon of oil again. As the, you know, all the ingredients have started well cooked and it has absorbed all the oil. I need not worry, the oil, uh, we are going to cook this dish as much as the oil gets separated to the dish. So you can definitely um, take the uh, curry without the oil. So that won't be very hard. So I have my kitty ready. She was asleep and she has woke up. You feed um, people food <laughs> or kitty or cat food? Sorry? Do they eat kitty? Does your kitty eat people food or kitty food? No, it eats everything that we eat. <laughs> it eats bhakri, it eat, uh, they all, all kitties, they eat uh, bhakri with uh, chicken, salted chicken soup and uh, fish, fried fish, then um, chapati with milk. Nice. <laughs> just milk. Yeah, it also eats, uh, uh, has everything that is sweet. It's actually uh, not very good for them as they might lose their hair eating sweet. All the animals actually eating more sugar or adding more sugar to their food, they lose hair. Hmm. So I'm adding some, some coriander, chopped coriander to this dish and I'll add lots of water because once we drop in the uh, Cutlet kind of a thing into this. We crumbles into this. Uh, the dish is gonna thicken. So we'll add water, good amount of water. And I'm using the same water in which I have soaked the uh, dal because that has too many, too much of uh, what we have. So, or the pulse has left out in the water. Before soaking it into the water, I have washed the uh, chickpeas nicely with three to four tap water, and then I have soaked it in uh, nice uh, filtered water so that I could use this water while cooking. 
I'm adding one fourth spoon of salt as we have added water. We'll add it, uh, you know, generously in small quantity so that the dish is not uh, too much salty. I just close this and let it boil for two to three minutes and I'll bring that. So these are nicely chilled now. I'll break it using my hands. See, it gets nicely, you know, the crumbles are very nicely in proper form. I could show it near the camera as well. When we break it using our thumb, it's nice and crispy and it's not liquidy. That means we have uh, properly roasted it in oil. So all the varas, I'll be breaking it using my thumb. You know, this uh, blackish or the roasted flavor gives it a, a nice, um, what I could say, uh, just the smoked effect, mm -hmm. maybe the smoky Smoky's effect. Flavor. Yeah. Yeah, the smoky flavor. And that is uh, very important in this dish, actually. You can also do the same recipe for chicken. You can cook the chicken and then you can crumble it. And then you can give it the same uh, tadka. You can have it as it is. It's nice, crispy outside, softer inside. See, Diana and I are planning our next incarnation in India. We're going to come back <laughs> prepared already with recipes and knowledge. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Definitely. I'm hoping all of you guys to visit us in Meher Cottage. Yes. I'm very happy to say that because uh, we have named our house after Baba's name. Beautiful. It's called Meher Cottage. Nice. You can see it's nicely cooked. It has had a boil. It turned almost white color, huh? It's it's the uh, what can I say? It's the um, bubbles actually mm -hmm. that are formed while boiling. So now I'll drop in this this crumbled vada. See. The curry is thickened now. If you want, you can add more water to this to give it a, uh, a liquid uh, you know, consistency. But I want it to be semi-liquid, semi-thick. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving it as it is. I will add the chicken powder, one fourth spoon of chicken powder on the top to give it a nice flavor. Semi-cooked chicken masala powder is uh, actually, it's good actually. <laughs> it gives a good flavor. So the earlier when I have added the uh, Everest chicken masala powder, it was for the onions, the tomatoes, the curry leaves, coriander, chili to absorb in it. Now I have dropped in one fourth spoon of chicken masala powder again, so that the uh, vada has the same uh, flavors. Just wash my hands. That looks amazing, doesn't it, Diana? Beautiful. <laughs> 
and that's it the dish will be ready after we give it a nice you can actually cook it in a sim because uh, in a the lowest flame possible uh, you can simmer it and um, the red curry actually said the uh, oil that separates it it's in red color so it's called curry in india so the red curry is formed on the top only if we cook it in low flame and uh, it will disappear if we cook it in a high flame so i'm cooking it in low flame for 5 to 10 minutes we leave it as it is and all the flavors will get more very nicely wow all yes, right so um, to review you mentioned before how do you serve this with idli dosa chapati rice then uh, you can also have it with uh, garlic bread or plain bread and also you can use it uh, as a filling for What? sandwich as a filling filling for sandwich and uh, or you can also use it on a pizza uh, base on pizza mm -hmm. just the same way we add uh, the red uh, you know tomato uh, what to say salsa tomato sauce tomato sauce same way you can spread this on pizza and just grate cheese on it and cook gives amazing it is it, it has a very good taste a different taste actually between idli and chapati you mentioned one other word dosa dosa, dosa. okay dosa wow Yeah. Checking it so that I don't lose the liquid. Sirika, so, oh, excuse me. Sirika, so, I I noticed you put in fresh coriander and fresh mint, and I was wondering, do you do you keep a garden? Do you grow some of these herbs that you put in? Uh, actually, um. we have a uh, small pot of uh, coriander and uh, mint leaves but for now we are not using our own coriander leaves because it was it has got spoiled because of heavy rain so mm -hmm. i bought it from market today but uh, we do have small pots of uh, coriander leaves mint leaves then um, we have uh, curry leaves in our own garden it's a tree now it's not even a plant <laughs> mom it's a tree now and uh, also we have uh, um papayas papaya mm. and uh, neem that's as what uh, is called neem in english ah <laughs> it's neem <laughs> neem yeah we call it neem too yeah. i think mm mm-hmm. so yes so there are two there were two to three vegetables more we also had um, what to say uh, uh tomatoes chilies and uh, our tomato plant is just growing now so we haven't had uh, enough uh, tomatoes now beautiful and there is also a tamarind tree in the same backyard Oh yes, Baba. Uh, there's in Upper Meriba. There's tamarind trees that we. Yes, yes. Actually, um, there are too many tamarind trees in all over Meriba. Mm, uh, I guess it's just growing as if uh, it was just the seeds were just uh, blown, <laughs> like yes. just spread. As... Sureka, I uh, just checked the uh, blog, and there's been nothing happening. um yeah actually i have lost my uh, you know laptop my working instrument for now so mm -hmm. it has expired uh -oh. and uh, <laughs> so i am unable to work on any of the videos but uh, yes i'm still working because i have kept uh, many uh, data and many thing ready the last email that, which i have sent it to you first day was from that email and after that we just gave it a funeral <laughs> and that's it we have not worked on it Yes, well, After today, that. today I have noted everything. I will type this up and send it to you so you can fix. Thank you so much. I can review it through my phone for now. 
Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, this will happen in time, you know, if we are patient. Yeah, actually. It will and be because the, I... <laughs> for you to have both the videos and the recipes in one place. Right. True. One second, I guess. Yeah. I... <sighs> And you're more I than freeze again. Use our uh, circle of friends until you get yours ready, you know? Yes, yes. So, yes, so this curry is ready. And as I said, that I wanted it to be in semi liquid and uh, partially uh, thick. So, I have kept it in that form. Mm -hmm. I'll just show you. I'm adding fresh coriander leaves for garnishing. actually smelling too good am i stuck i don't know what happened to your video just a second the auto restart i guess it wasn't the other apps are getting restarted yeah yes. so yes i have added so coriander leaves and i'm leaving it as it is because when I open this pan, I should see the same. So this is the bit. But for today, I'll be having it with rice and chapati. And uh, yes, this goes to Baba food. Now I know when I go to Indian restaurant and they say vada curry, what it is. <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> Quite elaborate, but beautiful. Yes. Yeah. But all this yes, can be made in less than a half hour, you know? So I don't know what our problem uh, is. Was it just half hour? Let's see. It Did is we do it in half hour? 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Ah, uh, I guess that because uh, I was asked earlier by uh, Praveen that how much time will you take today because you have so many steps to do. So I said it will take 45 minutes today. <laughs> That's right. You were right on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hope you all enjoyed it. And... Uh, you are definitely going to try it. And yes, um, yes. you yes. all uh, will enjoy having this dish. And do enjoy it with idli first and then with any other uh, dish. <laughs> I'm sure you are going to make idli for the same reason. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are getting ready to have an open kitchen here. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I don't know. You know, it looks easy to watch. It's much harder to get yourself together to make it, but I'm really going to try. I came very close to making the lemon chicken. Um, oh, wow. So um, I just, we bought some chicken. Now we're ready. Hopefully this mm -hmm. week I can make that. This yes, will yes. take some courage to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Diana will support you and uh, give you company while making this dish. Yes. Unfortunately, she lives <laughs> in a different city than I do, so we have oh. to do it electronically. <laughs> all right. Is everything, all the uh, lanes and broadways open at your end? All the yes. cities are open too? Yeah. yeah. Very much, yeah. Great, great. I guess it's, uh, the lockdown is uh, opening uh, in a quite lesser space now in India. Yeah. So hopefully... <laughs> Everything's going to be okay. Hopefully. We pray. Yeah. Yes. All right, Sureta. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, Diana. Thank you for your stay. And thank you, everyone, for joining. Jai Meher Baba. Jai Baba. Jai Baba. Jai Baba.